name's Tara. I'm from Eichert in Leeds. As you can see, I'm in the lovely resort of Leicester Alps. We're a sports-based specialist based actually in Leeds. But we do supply globally, so if you are from elsewhere, you can also buy our products. And I'm here today to talk to you about clip-ins, specifically for snowboarding and skiing. Firstly, what is a clip-in? A clip-in is a frame which holds a prescription. These are specifically designed for goggles. These are both universal as well, which means it will fit into any goggles that you have. So what are the benefits of a clip-in? The main benefit of using a clip-in is that you're able to retain all the safety features and protections of your goggles. This means that you're able to even optimize the tint. So for example, if you have two pairs of goggles, one that you use specifically for cloudy and moguls, and one that you use for bright sunny days, you can move your clip-in in and out. Basically for anyone who has a pair of glasses in their day-to-day -day life, or anybody with a high prescription or a prescription that changes relatively quickly or anyone who just likes to change their goggles, these you move with your goggles. The reason we recommend you use these instead of wearing your glasses and wearing what we call OTGs or over the top of glasses goggles is because most glasses are actually made quite wide nowadays so you can't necessarily get some that are actually big enough to fit over your glasses. It's also not a great idea to be skiing with your glasses anyway because they're not safety specialist ones and um, so if you break them they're going to shatter which is not going to be great for you the second thing is if you do break them monday morning you go back to work you've got nothing they're really comfortable to wear and easy to adapt to and you've got the widest field of view that you can possibly have so how do we insert our clippings into our goggles firstly make sure your goggles lens is clean on the front and on the back or the inside remember if you do have a lens coating on the inside be careful about cleaning it with lens cleaner as it can sometimes take that coating off. If that is the case, then instead you're gonna blow on it. I'm not gonna do it because these ones are actually clean already. And then just gently wipe it. Secondly, you want to clean your clip-in just as you did for the goggles, front and back. I'd recommend using a combined anti-fog and cleaning solution. It just makes everything a lot easier. Thirdly, we finally get to grab our goggles and invert the strap like this. Then, making sure we don't touch the lens, we want to grab this by the nose and then you want to be inserting it by pushing the top bit up first and then just grab these little phalanges and just quickly put them in and that's also, and you can just wiggle it into place if it's not quite in the place you want it to be. So if you need to take it out, it's extremely quick. Again, just pull it up to the top, make sure those phalanges are back out pull it out and voila, you can move it onto your next pair of goggles. Just to show you how easy and universal these clip-ins are, I'm going to show you with the bigger clip-in how to push it into a smaller goggle. So again, it's the same process. Obviously, we've cleaned all of our lenses and our clip-in. Again, we're just going to push that back over there like that, push our clip-in up like that, and then this one's just going to need some extra wiggling, maybe use two fingers just to push that in. Needs a bit of brute force. But again, that's in pretty easy and just push it into shape. And hey presto, you can go.